been a researcher for the last uh, 15 years, I guess, and uh, uh, after doing my thesis in France, I went to the US for some postdoctorate where I was actually working on uh, elucidating the long-term memory formation, what was the molecular basis of this. Uh, and, uh, and then I got a tenure position back in France, so I came back. And that's where I am actually. And I joined the Necker uh, Enfant Malade Hospital, where actually Jérôme Lejeune was a, a heavy actor there. And, uh, and I, my area, uh, the area of uh, uh, the interest of, of my group is to focus on two microRNA, non coding RNA, into uh, a number of human genetic diseases and one of them being uh, an encephalopathy with uh, uh, an intellectual deficiency issues. And your interest in the Lejeune Foundation in terms of the ethical components of scientific research? Well, that's quite correct, yeah. That's really how I came across uh, Jérôme Lejeune. I was uh, actually, uh, at first I was uh, one of the donators, and, uh, and then I realized that uh, I should uh, probably get more involved into uh, uh, be, being uh, uh, instrumental for giving, giving any scientific insights into any ethical issues that they would come across. And you're doing work on this particular disease, I understand, of, of uh, infantile anorexia? That's correct, yeah. That was the, the, the disease I was uh, uh, talking to you earlier. It's a, a novel disease and, uh, and with a very uh, peculiar uh, MRI images that uh, we hope that will uh, make uh, other people concerned that they probably have faced that images uh, at one stage. And we did find the gene, and uh, it uh, turned out to be an encoding uh, RNA expressed in the brain and very conserved in primates. And what is the hope, do you think, that a cure might be found? Well, the, the reason why I chose this area of, of research was because uh, the microRNA are these uh, little molecules uh, that are uh, like 22 nucleotides long. And, and that means that pretty much if you want to go into a synthetic uh, 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 stage where you are going to mimic the molecule, it gives you tremendous opportunity in terms of not being costly at all and being very easily injected and still having a, uh, an extreme specificity that all is really fascinating to all of us. And uh, you uh, can use them as well as biomarkers, and they seem to be very interesting into the, any sort of uh, disease that will involve the central uh, uh, nervous system. And this was discovered among children on this island in the Indian Ocean you were mentioning. Is it more widespread than that or is it geographically restricted? Once we've published the, the, the thing, I'll tell you how widespread this is because at the moment it's still there, only there.